Greetings, Captain. Searching database. Accessing. Opening hailing frequencies. Hello, YouTubers. Milshive here. It's been a while. Real life has been pretty crazy lately, and I haven't had time to focus on videos like I want to. And for that, I am sorry. A lot has happened recently, especially since the announcement of the Invictus launch week and the Virtual Citizen Con. Most of the noteworthy items were announced with the most recent roadmap roundup. In this video, I'm going to do a reading of the roundup and save my opinions for the discussion in the comments and on Discord. With that said, let's get to it! Spectrum Dispatch, Roadmap Roundup, May 5th, 2021. Happy Wednesday, everyone! Every two weeks, we accompany the roadmap update with a brief explanatory note to give you insight into the decision making that led to any changes. This is part of an effort to make our communications more transparent, more specific, and more insightful for all of you who helped to make Star Citizen and Squadron 42 possible. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into this week's Roadmap Roundup, CIG Community Team. Notable changes for May 5th, 2021, Progress Tracker. The following deliverables have been added to the Progress Tracker. Drake Corsair. Building, balancing, and implementing Drake Interplanetary's multi-crew explorer, the Corsair, into the game. Vehicle door improvements. Updates to the underlying implementation of vehicle door setup that will allow for more advanced interactions, including ramps aligning to terrain and other ship-specific behaviors. Life Support T0. Implementing the first iteration of onboard life support systems in ships, which entails a ship component that generates air when turned on and management of said life support component within the vehicle loadout manager. Previously marked as unannounced, these deliverables have now been revealed on the progress tracker. Banu Merchantman. Building, balancing, and implementing the Merchantman, the Banu made trading vessel, into the game. Oapau Santokyai. Building, balancing, and implementing Oapau's medium fighter at the Santokyai into the game. Drake Vulture. Building, balancing, and implementing Drake Interplanetary's light salvage ship, the Vulture, into the game. The following deliverables have been removed temporarily from the progress tracker as schedules are being finalized following planning meetings. In addition to allowing room for the life support T0 and vehicle door improvement deliverables mentioned above. Multi-Grid SDF, Capital Ship Destruction, Culling, Streaming, Exterior Interior Ships, Animated Dashboard State, M50 Engine Swap. Release View. These deliverables have successfully passed their final review. For this reason, we have updated the label on their cards to Committed and changed their color to blue. Ship to Station Docking, Missions, Spawn Closets, New Horizon. We're aiming to extend the horizon of both the progress tracker and release view to Q1 2022 with our next publish on May 19th. This publish will include only the upstream team schedules for the time being. As a reminder, downstream teams are reactive to upstream, so their schedules won't show the entire year. Therefore, downstream schedule will be updated to Q3 2021 shortly thereafter in a following publish. That's all for this week. Join the discussion on Spectrum. And that's the entire article, short and sweet. Join me on Discord or in the comments below to discuss your opinions about the new information we just learned from this roundup. If you enjoy my content, please hit that like button and use the bell to set your notification settings so you won't miss another video. Also, if you wish to support my channel further, you'll find a section in the description of the video with different ways you can show your support. Thank you so much for watching, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.